Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a makeup look using new products that I haven't been using yet. It's from my London haul and also some from the some products I bought me while I was in the US. So <clears throat> if you want to see me test out some new makeup then please keep on watching. Okay, so I've already uh, put serum on, serum on my face and I used this e.l.f. hydrating serum and on top of that I went in with e.l.f. daily hydration moisturizer and I've been testing them out for a month now I think and I actually enjoy them and I took a shower earlier so my hair is a bit uh, wet but I'm just going to get my hair out of the way. Yeah, so for primer, I think I will go in with the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. I've been using this. I have used this maybe five times and I like it. I think it actually does blur out the, the pores. And to blend that in, I'm just using my fingers. For foundation, I'm going to use the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. I don't know if I've used this on camera before, but I have two shades. I have number one pale and number three porcelain. And uh, I think I'm going to start with the pors um, number three porcelain and see if that's a match. And to blend that in, I'm going to use my sponge from Morphe Brushes. I have used this twice, two or three times, and I love it. It's it beats the blue beauty blender, I promise you. Okay, so this is a very uh, droppy foundation. So I'm just going to drop some of it on my face. And hopefully it's not too yellow. And I've already put water on this. I, as I probably said, I've used this maybe twice and I like this foundation. I think it's really easy to blend. You can build up the coverage. Uh, it dries pretty fast also. So that was a few drops and as you can see I'm not nearly as covered as I want to be. So I'm going in with some more. It dries kind of matte actually, it's not that sticky on my face. So I could totally stop here, but I'm not. I'm going to add some more because I still have my redness here. I don't know what I've been doing there, but I think it's something coming up. So I'm taking three, three drops on the sponge. And actually I think the sponge eats up a bit of this foundation so maybe you should use, use a brush but I'm not used to using a brush so. And that actually matched me pretty good. Then I'm going in with a concealer that I've been using also like four times or something and it's the Born This Way from Too Faced in the color Fairest and I actually like this a lot. Uh, it covers, it brightens, uh, it's easy to blend. And I'm taking the same damp beauty sponge. I've been thinking about doing the power of makeup and I think actually I'm going to film this film that and put it up because so 
someone asked for me to do it and I think it's really cool cool thing to do it's important that you get that little area in there because I'm not that blue under my eyes I kind of I'm kind of blessed in that way but I have uneven skin color in the rest of my face so that's concealer blended and done then you can still see that I'm a bit red around my cheeks uh, but I mentioned this before you almost always can uh, then I'm going to go in with a powder and this is the Rimmel Insta Fix and Matte hashtag and I'm just going to set my eyes and my under eye concealer with this and for powder I'm going to use this this Lotte London Ready Set Go Matte Translucent Finishing Powder that I bought in London and I think I'm going to bake with it with my damp sponge because I never bake and I'm also going to take that on a fluffy powder brush and take it all over my skin So now my skin is actually pretty matte and actually pretty dry but we will fix that with some setting spray. Okay so the powder actually stuck a bit to my pores uh, but that actually usually happens to me so I don't think it's the powder's fault. For contour I'm going to use this new Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow Face Sculpt and Highlight in the color Fair Medium and I've tried this twice and I love 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 it love 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 it and I'm going to use this uh, brush from Morphe it's the M405 and I'm taking the Sculpt shade and I'm going to contour with that Stunning, stunning, stunning. As you can see, I don't know if you can see, but it's a really nice color. For bronzer, I'm going to go in with this new Nip and Fab contour palette, and I think I will try to use the middle shade there. This is the one I would use for contour, and this is way too warm for me, so I'm going to try to use that as a bronzer. Just taking a tiny bit on my Real Techniques fluffy blush brush and putting that, putting that on my temples. Yeah, that actually did make me a bit muddy. Yeah, that's way too dark for me, so I'm going to go in with my sponge and try to blend it away. <laughs> I don't know if it's showing up on camera but it's a bit, little bit too warm for me. For blush I'm going to use my new Nip and Fab blusher palette and I think I will be using the, the darkest shade there that's called Whisper and to apply that I'm using my favorite blush from blush. I'm using my favorite brush from Wet n Wild and this is their blush brush. Really good pigmentation, you don't need much at all. Actually I took too much but I love blush so I always apply too much. And for highlight 
I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury one again, but using the highlight shade. And I'm going to use my favorite highlight brush, which is Morphe M501. It's kind of a golden highlight, so I have a really fair skin tone. So I'm usually, if I'm going to use this every day, I think I would be applying a lot less than I am doing now. Because now it's kind of showing up as a golden highlight. Which is fine, but it's not something that I would use every day. And because all of the excitement of trying the new stuff, I forgot to fill in my brows. And I'm going to use my Makeup Store Dry Brow. That's what happens when you get too excited trying new stuff. I'm using the medium shade in this. And I also like to take the lightest shade and fill in the inner part of my brow. For you, I've been gone for one second but for me I've been gone for 40 minutes because my battery died and uh, my spare battery was also dead so I had to <laughs> charge it uh, but looking at myself in the mirror I do not like how the highlighter looks it's a little bit too yellow for me so I thought that I would go in with this sleek makeup solstice palette that I also bought in London and I'm going to use uh, the pinky shade with the same brush I used earlier yeah that made it a little bit more um, of a pinkier tone you don't need a lot with this this is definitely a beam to the moon highlight palette Now that that's done, I'm going to go into uh, the eyes and I'm going to try out this Lottie London sh Shadow Swatch in the color The Rusts. Now that I've zoomed you in a bit, this is how the palette looks like. It has a variety of shades. Sh shades? Shades? It has a variety of shades. And I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush. This is my Morphe G24. It's my favorite br blending brush. And I'm going to use that lighter color there that is matte. And I think I'm going to put that all over the lid. And as you can see that didn't show up that much, but that was the point. I just needed a base to let the other shadows blend better. Then I'm going to go in with that matte shade there that is a little bit darker than the other one on that same fluffy brush. I'm blending that on the outer corner and in my crease. That's a really nice, nice kind of orangey brown color, perfect for fall. I'm also going to pop that color under my eyes. But maybe this was the wrong brush to use. Oh, put myself in there, definitely the wrong brush. I'm switching to a more denser brush. This is also for Morphe and this is the G13. I'm taking a clean G24, the fluffy brush we used in the beginning, and I'm going to take this darker matte shade. And put that on the outer corner to smoke in it 
あったで。It actually is a pretty color and uh, it has a little bit of kick up but not that much. It's better than I actually expected from swatching it. So I'm just putting that in my crease to try to create a depth, depth to the shadows. And then I'm going to take a clean kind of blending brush. I think I will be using this Real Techniques Deluxe Crease, crease Brush and just blend out the edges. Then I'm going to take that same uh, brush I used under the eyes and actually go in with this kind of orangey brown shimmer color and press that on my lid you probably can't tell in the camera but it is actually kind of um, shimmery and it's a really pretty color and it goes on even. As you saw, I'm not wearing a primer. I never use eyeshadow primer because I think it's more difficult to blend when you're wearing a primer. Uh, and uh, mostly my eyes don't use, don't need it. Then I'm going to take that fluffy brush that we used earlier and kind of blend that in together. Then I'm going to take a smaller, denser brush and go in with a sparkly color to... And I think I'm going to try that cold... Uh, it's not a warm shadow, so I don't know if this is going to look good or not. But I'm going to take that shadow on a denser, smaller brush. Let's see if it picks up something and then press that in the middle of my lid. And that brush was totally the wrong one. So I'm going in with a Real Techniques base shadow brush instead. And just kind of press that in the middle so it's kind of creating a halo effect. Didn't show up that much actually. Can you see? No, probably not. So I'm actually going to take this rounded brush from Morphe, this is the Morphe G18 and I'm going to take that lightest shimmer shade in the corner there and apply that to the middle of the eye where I put down the other shade and this is showing up much better and I'm also taking that shade to highlight the inner corners and I'm taking some of that dark shimmery shade and put it under my eyes as well. Now I want to darken it up a bit because I think it looks a little bit too orange for me so I'm going to take that darkest shade there using a Morphe G13 which is kind of a, a dense fluff brush if that makes sense and tap off the excess and then kind of Darking the edge up a bit. And then try to blend that together. When you do this step you, you might blend away the highlight in the um, middle of the eye but we can also always add extra. I'm going to take uh, the same highlight I used on my face from the Sleek Solstice palette, this one, and put in the middle of my lid instead. And as you can see that had a effect and I'm also going to put that on the inner corners of my eye. 
So now that that's done, I can tell that one eye is a bit darker than the other. So I'm just going to take some of the colors and kind of blend it a bit to look more even. You can really see my highlight. I do believe that eyes shadow done. Um, I want to use a eyeliner to tight line with and to put in my waterline. So I'm going to go in with this Lottie London AM to PM uh, coal eyeliner in the color Mocha. And as I said, also put it in the waterline. Because I won't be using any eyeliner today. I'm taking a little bit on the outer corners and I'm going to try to blend that out using the Real Techniques accent brush. So this is the finished eye look with the eyeshadow. I'm just going to pop on some mascara. I think I'm going to use this Urban Decay Perversion sample mascara I got at Ulta. Oh, <laughs> poked myself in the eye. I got some mascara on the skin underneath the eyes, so I'm going to take that away as soon as it dries, because then it will be easier using a QD. I'm actually pretty satisfied with this mascara, if I might say so. So I'll be back when the mascara has dried so I can wipe it off. So now my face is uh, done, I'm going to go in with a lip. But I'm not sure what to use, if I'm going for a nude lip or something else. Um, okay, this is, this is a really bold lip being me and I'm not sure if this is going to work, but this is the NYX lingerie. Uh, NYX lingerie lip color in, in embellishment. It's a greyish purpley color and as I've said I'm not sure if this is going to work uh, but I've never used this so I actually do love the color but I'm not sure of the color uh, with this warm eye makeup look because this is a cold lip so so I think I will go over it with um, with the wet and wild um, <clears throat> liquid cat suit in the color pink really hard Not sure that that worked at all because that was too much of a pink color. Here we go. I'm going to go over that with the Buxom Wildly Whipped Soft Matte Lip Color in the color Nudist. I think this is old. That looks a little bit better. Okay, so my final thoughts on the makeup. I actually really enjoyed the um, Lottie London eye palette uh, and actually they have names, I'm sorry for not mentioning them but yeah I really like this palette I really love the mascara from Urban Decay and um, I do really like the Char Charlotte Tilbury one and I think if you have a light hand it will work on any skin color uh, even though I said it was a bit too yellow for me, but that's, that's because I think I took too much. And the Sleek So Solstice palette is 
just a beaming highlighter so if you don't like that then maybe you shouldn't buy it but and I don't I'm not going to use this for work because I think it's too beaming and um, the lip turned out okay actually um, but yeah that was me trying on some new stuff guys I hope you liked I hope you liked it and please let me know if there's anything else you want to see on my channel um, yeah I think that's all that I have to say I can recommend Lottie London if you're going for a um, little bit cheaper makeup because it's not that expensive and it's uh, really good as I've mentioned before they have some of my f uh, favorite blushes um, I liked the Nip and Fab kits I used for this video as as well I think they are pretty good I'm going to try out the contour shade uh, next time I do my makeup so I will probably leave this out so I remember to use it and the the blush colors are truly amazing and they were easy to blend as well actually so that's the look it's kind of folly and I'm sorry about that I know I've been doing a lot of fall colors lately I have a request up for more colorful colorful <laughs> makeups with the Jaclyn Hill palette so I will definitely do that next time and uh, yeah thank you so much for watching and uh, Please leave a comment down below and uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in another video. Take care. Bye bye.